Obviously by this show you know it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And that's what's really important, of course, not just on the football field or in the rink, it also on this show. And we're going to go with more questions. And it's a great tie-in with the Hamilton Tiger Cats because this is a team that looked bad and looked bad early. However, they've won three of their last four. Zach Caleros is healthy. He's back. He's looking great. And it seems like everyone's stepping up. Are they the team that could actually take the East and perhaps be a formidable opponent for any Western team in a great cup? Jeez, um, to take the East, just seeing what the Argos have done their last two games out West. Should have won in Calgary. You know, miracles and miracles, Stampeders win that one. They blew away BC. That score flattered the Lions. Uh, I, it's pretty hard to count out Ricky Ray in Toronto. So I, I say they probably get to the East final, but I don't think they're going to win it. What do you say? Well, Jason? the hot, they, they got the hot hand here lately with, uh, with their record and, and Caleros is, is uh, throwing really well too. I believe his passing uh, completion rates uh, just above 70%. Uh, at, even in the loss out of those four games. And uh, so you get a hot quarterback and a team that starts to peak at the right time. Uh, everything starts to go into place. Who knows? Very quickly, guys, Arizona Cardinals, they lead the NFC West Division undefeated at 3-0. and That's better than the Seahawks, better than the Rams, better than the 49ers, who also lost, by the way. Are the Cardinals the real deal and legit contenders for a Super Bowl? Yes wow. or no? Like contenders for Super Bowl, no. Uh, they're good, though. Uh, they're good, but uh, let's see how they, they stack up when they play head-to-head -head against Seattle, head-to-head -head against San Francisco, teams like that, that they actually play against legitimate teams that have been there before and try to get there again. Jason? Well, sometimes uh, the schedule sometimes plays into the factor and, uh, uh, for them coming up. They've got the bye week uh, this weekend. And then they've got Denver after that. Denver's a powerhouse team. We'll see how they stack up against them, but at least they've got extra time to prepare. And maybe that goes in their favor. And then 4-0 and and, and uh, confidence again starts to build. I want to say this as well. Talk about beating Seattle. That's if Arizona can do it. Seattle was only loss at home in the last two years to Arizona. Just saying. We're going to take a commercial break when we return. Greg, we'll sound off in a second.